Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Haunticulture. Yes. It's very appropriate for this time of year, being yeah. that Halloween's not far away. Um, so what we have here is a, I suppose it's a mixture of a tile placement game uh, with a bit of Connect 4 slash tic-tac-toe. Exit or or Exit knots and crosses, if you're a kid, yeah. Um, from Tinkerbot Games, this is uh, coming to Kickstarter shortly. May even be our own Kickstarter. Kickstarter, Absolutely. if uh, if you're watching this at an appropriate time, uh, we will leave all the information in the doobly doo below. Mm -hmm. um, but what we have set up here is each of us are a gardener. We have our greenhouses around the outside. Um, we have various monster gardeners available to us. Uh, we also have a little hand of our own of six gardeners uh, that we'll be burning through. And the idea is we have a gardening phase where we all place our gardeners. The winner of the gardening phase will be able to select from the various ornaments or plants in the greenhouses. Then we have a planting phase where we move to these smaller boards and we plant what we've got. We have four turns like that, and at the end of the four turns, we total up um, what we've planted, uh, and then we add in any victory points from our secret objectives, and that will tell us who the winner is. Uh, so we have a couple of things to do to prep the board. Uh, first off is we need to fill the greenhouse. I will do that. From the rambly bag of rambliness. So it's a, uh, a blind pick into this. And while he's doing that, I will read the little blurb from the game. So, Creepstone Manor is empty again. The last guest running screaming into the night as four ghosts tinker, creak, giggle and boo celebrate their victory. But Spooky won't let them rest on their laurels. The house is secure, so it's time to turn your attention further afield and sort the gardens of Creepstone Manor. Unfortunately, being a ghost has certain disadvantages. For one, handling a spade is tricky when your hands keep passing through the handle. But help is on hand. The resurrected gardeners from the manor's heyday have returned to lend their rotted expertise to you. Use your crew of zombies, skeletons, ghouls to grab plants and ornaments for your garden. Hire new crew members such as werewolves and vampires to boost your work and get those extra flowers planted before the night is over. Beware, only the ghosts who show the greatest aesthetic eye will impress Spooky and be the best undead horticulturalist. Ooh, so, so that is our setup. We're playing the three player variant. Um, I will say there is a solo, a two player, which both use an AI deck and a four player. Uh, so when you're playing the AI um, solo or two player, you set up the same as you have done for the, the three player here. When you're playing a four player game, you add an additional row. Mm -hmm. um, to allow you to, to fill up to uh, 16 rather than a, a nine square in the center. Uh, I have the delightful little Skelly Bob uh, Scarecrow Gardener. Um, so I will be taking the first player's turn. Uh, and the only thing I need to do then is to choose which of my secret objectives I will keep and which I will discard. Oh. I'll go with this one. Oh wow, they're all interestingly filthy. So discard, discard, and discard. And we're on to turn one then. So first things first, I have a hand of six. I have new gold currently, so I can't get any of these delightful people from here. They will change turn on turn, but we currently have a rag and bone skeleton, a werewolf, a vampire botanist, very important, and a poltergeist. That'll keep people out. Um, but I'm going to kick things off with... I'm going to start with a ghoul right into the middle. So you can see here the ghoul has rummage for one and has steel for three. Uh, if this was the third ghoul to go down in the line orthogonally, um, I would get to use the steel ability because he's going down by himself. It's just a rummage in the bag. Mm -hmm. Our survey says... Lock it up. Oh my God, that's the best thing in the world ever. I love it so much. What'd you get? I got a gloomy flower. Ah. Uh -huh. yeah. oh. yeah, yeah. oh. So it's on to uh, Justin then. Mm. 
Honestly, I think I'm going to start the bidding nice and easy because mm -hmm. uh, I want to actually start gaining some money. So I'm just going to go here yep. and gain myself a coin. Okay. And One bit of monies for myself. Mm -hmm. Don't want any, anything nice there. Yeah, let's go for you. Skelly Bob. Yeah, I'm going to dig with my Skelly Bob. Okay, so digging allows you to dig any square in your garden. So these are all coins that have been buried by previous incumbents. So you can pick a square and, and dig. Let's go for the big two. I thought you would. Why not? Nice yeah. and ready. Uh, I'm back to myself for my next. We have a lot of chaff in here and two really good cards. The problem is you recycle your hand sort of every other turn. So if you choose to use all your best cards in the first turn, you may find yourself lacking in subsequent turns. Uh, I'm going to go there with a zombie and gain a coin. Oh, lovely, lovely. There you go. Thank One you of very the much. Uh, I think I'm going to drop my skeleton down along here, and that will allow me a dig action mm. to gain two more coins. Dig, dig, dig. Dig for victory. Dig, dug. Dig for victory. Um, hmm. Oh, I'm going to go for zombie there. Okay. Get myself a gold coin. Bring them for the big win. That's what you're after, isn't it? Of course. Always. So. I think I'm going to go for a zombie into there mm -hmm. and also gain a gold coin. There you go, sir. Thank you. All right. What exactly does the vampire botanist do? Vampire botanist. For just her, after placement, swap places with another monster. She costs three coins and she's worth five. I do believe I will buy one now. Wow. Must be nice. So you have to discard a card from your hand out of the game. I will discard a little zomboid. Yeah. Okay, Danny. And now I place her down. And yes. After I place her, I get to swap location, yeah? So I will place her down here, mm -hmm. but she's going to swap here, like so. Well, okay. Just to be a little bit mean. Well, interesting. See how it is. I'm going to take that anyway. <laughs> Fair enough. And rummage in the bag. Yes, please. Rummage, please. Yes, rummage, rummage. If you'd be so kind. Be lucky, be lucky. No, big money, it's, big money, not, no whammy. it's not lucky, it's a snap of flower. Oh, oh, the worst fun. kind. Oh, it's literally the worst one. That's terrible. Um, so that's the first gardening phase done. We now work out who has got what. So starting with the gardening ability highest in the row. So we've got a four and a two, six v five. So Shay will win. And he gets to pick either the gnome or the moon blossom. Gnome, please. And then the runner-up in that row gets whatever's left. I'm in Blossom. Which I'm means if you happen to find Snapdragon, you're flying. 3v6 here. Um, I've already got one of those. Do I want another or do I want an urn? What's my secret objective? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's, that's not terrible. I'm going to take the urn. Right. Which means that I get... You get the gloom the flower. Gloom flower. Yep. Uh, our last row, 5v2. Oh, what do I want? In, uh, I think I'm going to go with the fountain. Although I have to pay to build the fountains, don't I? You have to pay to build the ornaments. How much do they cost to put down? Two per. Two of the finest. So two for the urn, two for the each segment of the mm. fountain, and then the gnome cost is varied. I see. God and bless do I have this. to have that now, or can two. I just wait? Um, you can hang on to your ornaments. You You don't have to put your ornaments down in this phase. Okay. So if you don't have the money for them, you can keep them on standby. That's fine. I, I will do that. And that should hopefully just like deny someone else the chance hmm. at the uh, the 20 big ones that it's mm. worth. Well, we'll see. Which means she, you get a pumpkin. That's Jerry's. Oh, Jerry. Yeah, because yeah, you're playing green. green. Apologies, sir. Terrible. So now running down the way, exactly the same thing again. 7v2. 
So Shay gets the choice. <laughs> Sorry about that I get one. snap on. Snap, Thank which is you. minus three VPs, which is why nobody and really I wants them. I have to plant it or dig it up. I'm not sorry. Uh, over here, we have 5v6. So that vampire botanist hasn't been great. Do I want an urn? Urns double the VPs of the things planted in them. Mm, but it's paying to put them down. I'm not worried about because we, we plant for free. So paying isn't a major issue, mm. especially if you've got something that's going to double your... Yeah. But I'm not going to bother. I'm going to take another gloom. Fair enough. So I get that. And then we have two, three. So three is obviously the winner, mm -hmm. Justin. You're in um, Skellington. Let's see. You can have a... Evil Eye Apple. Evil Eye Apple or the Moonflower. The Moonflower. I think I want to go with the Evil Eye Apple. Okie dokie. And in this case, the runner-up, they're both on two. So both myself and Shay have two. It goes to the person who placed card first. And in this phase, because I'm player one, I placed before him. So I am the runner-up. Wow. So I get that. That goes to me. Well done, me. Mm -hmm. uh, and now it's planting time. So whatever you have to plant, you go ahead and plant. Certain things need to be planted in your garden in certain orders. So uh, as you can see here, moonflowers get more VPs if they're planted in long diagonal rows. Evil eye apples, long orthogonal rows. Uh, pumpkins work better in patches. Gloomy blooms are standard anywhere. Snap, uh, snapper weeds are terrible. So on and so forth. So... And if you have to pay to place an ornament like a gnome or whatever, you have to pay to place it. So just, just as is, I'm going to go start off with some delightful gloomy blooms in the center. Can't place my urn this turn. I have a little pumpkin in the middle. And uh, you do have two coins, do you not? I have one coin. Oh, I thought you'd got two. No worries. Mm, nope. How much does it cost do to I? place? Oh, I've got two. But oh, I've got, there yeah. you go, Sidon. Yeah. How much does it cost to place a gnome? A gnome. So gnomes are... One for your first, two for your second, three for your third, and four for your fourth. Okay. I will pay one to place my new. Okay. Right there. And that's the end of our first turn. <laughs> Moving into the second turn, uh, what, what you should have done actually is replace that as soon as that had been bought. These all go. So the hired help get discarded and replaced oh. with a new set of four. You have not been hired. As do all of these. Okay, so I will grab my reds. And I should have actually marked that with one well, of the Well, you're the only one out there, so it didn't yeah. really make a difference. But that will go into there. Eh. I wish I had fingernails. There we go. <laughs> oh, we've got a couple of new specials. So they're discarded. And then rummage in the bag to replenish the greenhouse. Okay. There. There. Oh, another gnome. There. 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 Another fighting piece. Uh huh. Oh, another gnome. Oh, wow. Lots of ornaments this round. Very ornamental. And then we're on to turn two. Mm -hmm. And it will be starting with myself, Justin. All right, so this time I only have three. Yes. So, I think I'll begin the bidding. Big four down here, and I get to go for a rummage. Wow. Oh, and I forgot to place that blossom. This disc. So, I get a pumpkin. Sure. You sure? Fair enough. Um, I'm going to go. There. Okay, you gain a coin. Yes, I do indeed. And then for myself, what have we got? A ghoul and a zombie out. Moonflowers, gnomes. Hmm. I'm going to pop a zombie there. Coin me up, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I will drop a zombo or yeah, and that will generate me a coin. Fair enough. I'm going to go there. Next one wouldn't mm -hmm. Very true. So in this case, instead of gaining one coin, you take the three zombie in a row ability yes. of take any plant. You go into the bag and you take whatever you want. Anything I want. Anything you well, want. You choose. You choose because oh. it's specifically take. Oh. 
So as your heart desires, Mr. Sweeney. Yeah. Oh, let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. I'm looking for one of those. That's oh, what yeah. I'm after. Yeah. yeah. Ah, but that's not a plant. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it's an ornament. Has to be a plant. Just the worst. I know. Sorry take, to be mean. Take Just a snapper. Worst. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, I'm okay. I've already got one too many of those. No well, one anymore. You say that. Um, While he's doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and place my... It. And I'm going to go... Oh, lovely. Zombie in there. Wow. And I'll do the same. Bag me up, please. There you go, sir. Thank you. And uh, I'm in and out like a whippet. Mm -hmm. Don't need that. So... I think I'm going to be very cunning here. Cunning as a fox. And I'm going to place my other zombie here. So I will gain another coin. Mm -hmm. And that will do me. Oh, you've put me in a tough one here, Justin. Tough? Yep. Like a toughie. I don't care about you getting stuff, but I really want to buy him. <laughs> do you have the coinage? I the, do. The, the problem is, but do you, what have, are you, giving you, have, up? you have a good card in your oh. hand. Is that it? Oh, because it's obvious it's an hour zombie. Oh, well, that But case. it means I get another free oh, yeah, of anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's, what, that's what I'm tossing away here. Pick. Or what does the one you're after do? Basically, he lets bone. me, yep, dig. If a plant tile is dug up, gain three gold. Ah. One word of Because, yeah, you can get rid of something that's going to give you negative VPs and get mm. cash money for it. Mm -hmm. That's a really good card. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, well, are you trying to push me towards that, Jerry? I would. Would you? Oh, one hundred percent. would. all the leftover money in your garden what, a little easier. What's but what's better, getting rid of minus VPs and getting cash money for us, or or getting a plant? We're going for rag and bone skeleton. I thought you would. Good man. Two big ones. Refresh. Replaces with a gloomy blo a gloomy bloom zombie. Take two gloomy blooms from the bag, but only only on a triple. Oh. Otherwise, he's yeah. Uh, oh. Has been not great. Yeah. What does our boss zombie do? Boss zombie, all your zombies gain plus one gardening skill. Oh, that could it's, be very It's handy. excellent. Yeah. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I'm at cards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you I'm have to place. mine there. Okay. All right, you get your dig. You will get your dig. Snapper. Be gone. That can... <laughs> does it go back in the bag or at the game? Yeah, oh no, back in the bag. All right. And I get three gold. Yes. To buy more wonderful things. Yes. Excellent. But then I am going to finish things off with a skelly bob oh. there. Can I, wonderment? I'm going to dig for victory. Uh, dig into there for two gold of my own. All the money, money. So, end of turn two. Uh, we'll start at the top. All twos across the board, but Justin went first, so he will get the victory there. Give me Mr. No, we know. And Che went second, so he yes. will get the second. The clone flower, thank I quite you. like that rule because it, it just levels things very quickly. Uh, Skelly Bob, I will get the win in here. Um, I'm going to take the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. uh, that means I will get the other because I went first. Yep. And then our last one, 4 2 2. So Justin will win again. Gnome or Moonflower? Oh, because if I do that, I'll have three Moonflowers. In a diagonal, yeah, which would be nine VP. Yep, which is great. Versus a second gnome, which would only bring me up to seven. So I do believe I will take the the flower. And then Shay will get the gnome. Get the gnome. He went before I. And then our uh, columns. Mm -hmm. Three plays five. Mm -hmm. So find in peace. Yeah. Earn for me. What's Grecian earn? Depends on what it does for a living. Uh -huh. <laughs> Over here, we have uh, two, two, and two. I will take the pumpkin. Well, actually, no, because, oh, that's yours, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. I'll pop so that there. I went first, so yep. Mr. Pumpkin comes to me. And then Nine. Rag and Boom gets next. And then we have a four and a two. So Shay gets to pick. Give me that. And I get a moonflower. Mm. Excellente, delicioso. Um, so we'll just do our planting. Yep. And then tidying up. And we only score our VP after the fourth round, yeah? Yes. I'm going to spend some. Oh, Ooh, it's rolling away. Well, it's the best way, isn't it? Keep rolling. And if 
fact, I'm going to place, I'm going to pay two to prompt an earn down. It's been nice. What do I want <laughs> to put it under? So if I put it under here, it doubles the nine. It doubles the plant it's under. Uh -huh. So. So I think that would work possibly. Like so. Yeah, the plant is worth double its VP at the end of the game. Perfect. So that turns a 9 into an 18. Mm. So we will tidy up and we'll be back with the start of turn 3. Okay, we're back for turn 3. Everybody's set up and ready to go. Shay is now first player. Oh, or yes. Scarecrow. Very nice. I'd say you can have a look at what we had out. Yeah. Um, so we've got uh, a werewolf. Werewolf Shapeshifter, a Poltergeist, and another Rag and Bone Skellington. Mm. So all handy to have. I do like a Rag and Bone Skeleton though. Don't we though? Um, okay. I'm going to start off with a bit of a skeleton. Okay, you get to dig. Yes, I go for a dig. I would dig this two gold up. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Controversial, some may say. Controversial. I always am. Dun, 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 dun. Do that, do this. Interesting. Fantastic. Delicious. I am going to buy a werewolf. Oh, oh, okay. For the cost of two shiny gold coins mm -hmm. and discarding a zombie. And my werewolf will go. Wow. There's lots of these about, isn't there? Oh, I've got two snappers on the board as well. There are two snappers. I'm going to go there. I will fetch a plant tile. So from the row or column I'm in, I'm going to take the blood orange and a new one goes onto the board from the bag. We get, oh, one of the apples. Ooh. Interesting. Yes, very much so. Yourself then, Justin. Uh, I think I'm going to start the bidding off with a ghoul right here. Start off strong. So I get to go for a little... Rubbish? Yep. Yeah, going through the compost heap, see what I can find. Hmm. Oh, I found an urn. What's a Grecian urn? How many ornaments have you got over there? Uh, he's, des four. he's desperately trying to get the four he needs for the fountain, is what he's ah, after, I which see. is worth tons. See. So let's face it. Well, here, here's the thing it's either I'm going to try and build it, or I'm going to try and just not build it, save the money for other stuff, and make sure you can't build it. Well, just to make sure, I'll just put it on there. Oh, you're going to go for a rummage? Yeah, I'll go for a wee rummage. Why not? We rummage. Yep, go on. No, uh, it's an apple. Apple. Yeah. Okay. Not impressed. Not impressed? No. Why would you be? I wouldn't be. No one likes green apples anyway. Hmm. I'm going to play it safe and go into there with my skeleton. Okay. Uh, I'm going to dig. So I shall uh, dig two gold out here. And back to yourself then. Mm -hmm. I think this is the stage where I need to actually stop, have a little think. Uh, I go here and we get a coin and be reasonably safe. Okay. Hmm. I myself, I'm going to go there. Oof. Get a wee coin. Risky. Didn't want to give either of you the get any card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody wants the opportunity there. No. I am going to buy a poltergeist. Oh, fun. 
Oh, you do this. Uh, you swap to... the possession of any two tiles in my garden. Oh, Ew. that's nice. Yeah. I'm going to pop that there. Hmm. Okay. Spicy. Yeah. All right. I am going to use my vampire botanist. I think. If I go here, what I'm actually going to do is trade these. Mm. For some whimsy. Oh, I should have done that. Sorry. Swap those two right. Do we keep our special cards? Your special cards, as in these ones? Yeah, the yes. Board. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but, they come back to your but hand. But they go back to your hand. So you don't get your whatever you discarded, you discard from the game to buy them. Should have had that. <laughs> no worries. Right. Yeah. End of a turn. Yes. Top to bottom then. Fairly. Fairly stonking there, maneuver by Shay, who gets go both a gnome one. and a fountain. Mm -hmm. Like a both. Oh. Well, there's nobody else in that room except you. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable, Jeff. I'm coming for you. <laughs> uh, four, three, and then that's me as well, but it's got nothing on it. So yeah. you get Doink. Moonflower, and I'm going to get an evil aptly eye. I'll yeah. pop that there. Uh, last row is 7v1. Mm hmm. So blood orange or snap? Uh, hmm. I'm going to surprise you. Yes. And what does the blood orange do? It's plus one to everybody around him. Except uh, for duplicates. Every unique mm -hmm. tile around a blood orange will give you plus one VP. So mm -hmm. potentially up to, uh, up I to will, nine. Of course, take the blood orange. Why would I ever take a snap? Okay, okay. Why not? They're uh, lovely chaps. Yep. I'll take a snap. And then... Columns. Uh, four for Justin and three for Shay. So. Well, I will take my apple. Take the gloom. Uh, three for me. Two for everybody else. I'm going to go for another orange. Mm -hmm. And Shay went for me. Yep. Yes. And then final row. Five place four. Play, yeah, five place four. So I will take the pumpkin. And snap goes to Shay. Darn. Oh well. Okay. End of round three. So planting phase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and tidy up. And we'll be right back with our final turn in just one tick. Okay, back for a final turn. I will reclaim my scarecrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a ghoul apprentice, which allows you to swap a plant tile in this row or column for one in your garden. Ooh. You, could, you could decant a snap. Could. Into a tile that uh, you're going to win. So that'll be Could. interesting. Um, we have a mummy. allows you to fetch an ornament or uh, build for one less gold. We have another rag and bone. Uh, so you can dig a plant tile for three. And lastly, we have a zombie pumpkin. Take two pumpkins from the bag. Ooh. Big money, big prizes. I love it. So for myself then... They're all good, I'm not going to lie to you. I like them all. Uh, I will, however, sell my life for a zombie pumpkiner. Uh -huh. Who's fresh and funky then? And we get a boss zombie. Boss zombie. Gives you plus one gardening on your zombies, mm -hmm. which is nice. And then I will... Place him. Place him. Oh, snap, snap, snap. Yeah, many snaps. Oh, many snaps. Oh, place him there. So many snaps. So many snaps. Mm -hmm. I think uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some bedding in 
on there. Mm -hmm. So I will get a coin. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for that right there. Ooh. I'm going to take out that snapper again. <laughs> and get three coins. Pop your blue over there so we know who owns it. Yep. Money, money, money. That's me. Yep. Mm. Na, 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 na. Uh, it's not a major issue. I quite like that. That's all good. I'm going to go for rummage in the bag with my ghoul. Okay. There you go, sir. Be lucky. Oh, it's a bit of a fountain. Oh, wonderful. Know. Nobody's building this fountain. No. No, no, no. Not the, now. The, the instructions came out and they were in French. Oh. Yourself? Uh, what does this gentleman do? Uh, swap a plant tile in this row or con. Ah, I'm going to buy this gentleman for two. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to abandon one of my wonderful little zombies. Yes. Oh, no. Uh, oh, yes. What would be lovely for, for a werewolf? I think just to make life terrible for everybody else, I will take the pumpkin and I will give you a snapper. That's just not very nice. That's one way of doing it. Mm. Right. Um. I myself, I'm going to put a zombie there. You mark yours so I know who owns it. Oh yes, apologies. Bump. Okay. So. Going to go in there. I'd like a gold, please. Gold. There Thank you. Are. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go here mm -hmm. and just dig up some gold from here. I should have gained my coin from last round for the zombie. And I will do another zombie. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. So, final round then. Yes. Total them up. We have two, two, and a three. So Justin wins that one. I will take the blossom. And I went first, so I'll get part of a fountain. Mm. Next round, uh, six plays two. I will, mm, either of those is great for me, to be perfectly honest. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really know. Is there any difference? Not particularly, it does three, pretty much the exact three, same for both of yeah, us. Yeah, they do the same. So, I will actually take that. Sure, I'll take that. And then the last one is two place four. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will take the arrow. I will grab the pumpkin. And then down the way, we have a six on two. Mm -hmm. So I will have to take a snappy, and you will have to take a snappy. That's you. Oh, oh me? No, oh, well. That's you. Damn it. I miscounted. You even, you even swapped those? Yeah, I did. Like an idiot. And here we have four plays two. Yep. So you both get snaps again. Damn it. And our last one, three, two, and two. So Justin wins. Pumpkin. And I will also get a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. uh, all we need to do then is plant mm -hmm. and then we'll be totaling up for victory. Mm -hmm. uh, so we should be back in one moment. Okay, we're done and dusted. Everything's been totaled up and uh, I'll show you my garden. So here's my little garden. Uh, an eclectic mix of stuff. Yes. I've got a half a pumpkin patch at the bottom. I've got a nice little diagonal of moon flowers. Mm -hmm. I've like got some rubbing. gloom, gloom blooms and uh, evil apple eyes. A uh, bit of everything, even still some cash money in there. Shame I haven't never gone into digging that up. Mm -hmm. Darn. Based on our lovely setup here, you can see I've got 
bonuses for the pumpkin patch, bonuses for the moonflowers and for the evil eyes in their diagonals. I will lose some for the snapper weeds. Didn't really have anything else particularly clever in there. It gave me 32 victory points in the end. Not bad. Which is not, not a bad, bad job. I will read out what it says about that for an AI game later on, just so you have an idea of how bad that is. Oh. Um, if you want to pop yours in then, Shay, yes. we can see your garden. Lift mine over. There we are. So your garden, again, based on our setup here, you've got quite a lot of gnomage going on. A lot of gnomage. A lot of gnomage yes. and a lot of gloom blooms. Uh, and not much else. No. Uh, one little evil apple eye and yes. one little snapper weed. Yes. Um, but thankfully your... Yes, my secret objective your was... Your secret objective came to the fore there. Yes. Uh, plus two VP for each gloom bloom uh, around a gnome. Yeah, so ah. the fact is gloom blooms were parked around gnomes and a couple of them were built in urns, which doubled them up, give you a healthy score of 40 mm -hmm. VPs. Not bad. Yeah. So we'll see our final garden then. Sure. Uh... This one kind of got a little bit overgrown on me. So we've got some pumpkins in here, our apples, our uh, moonflowers in here, a couple of crabs, a bit of a blood orange. Again, some light grave robbing going on. Yeah. Uh, you also had uh, an objective that helped you out. Yes. So for the uh, snapweeds, I actually gain three VP instead of lose three VP. Yeah. This is quite nice. Which is great. It gives you 64 and the victory overall in the VP front. Yes. Uh, if anybody's playing solo at home, 0 to 35, which is me, needs some fertilizer. Uh, 36 to 60, weedy, but not bad. And for 61 plus, from small seeds, a mighty poisoned oak grows. Oh, so lovely. it gives you a rough idea of how good, bad, or indifferent we were in that. But there you go. That is haunty culture. Uh, from Tinkerbox, uh, uh, Tinkerbot rather, games. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting little game. I like it. I like mm -hmm. the um, I like the mechanics of building your gardening crew and because you never know what's going to come out there and when you're going to get a chance to buy into them, mm -hmm. it can really change up how your crew behaves. Um, and then obviously it's just the case of working out what you need. I had a, a quite what? annoying objective, which required me to have three different plants in every column to get bonus points. So it is nice you get two at the start of the game and you get to pick the last bad. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you didn't want to see the other one. <laughs> um, but there you have it. That is uh, Haunty Culture. Uh, let us know what you think below, folks. And if you fancy checking out the Kickstarter, the information will be somewhere down there below my belly. Bye bye. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.